expectations. I, you know, had never been to Alaska before, um, let alone, you know, as far north as Alaska you can get. Um, so, you know, when I, when I, in my head, I had pictured, you know, kind of a, a dense, you know, wooded, you know, a lot of fallen lumber, deadfall, stuff like that. Um, and then when we ended up getting out here, you know, there's, you know, some of the brush, you know, it's like behind me, there's some of the brush like that. But other than that, there's not a tree in sight. Um, the permafrost, the ground's kind of soft, spongy. That was totally different than what I expected. Surprised you didn't have a welcome mat here or something, just like <laughs> red carpet, <laughs> random carpet. What have y'all been the... doing up here all day? Huh? What? No, what? no, I, I don't want to shoot all the caribou before you guys get in. <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, oh. <laughs> have you seen some? <laughs> so we got in here two hours ago, three hours oh, ago. Oh, that's right. They moved y'all. Yeah. So we were camped like 20 miles out way under some random gravel ball because the fog was too thick to get us up any higher. So they dropped us and like, we'll be back tomorrow sometime maybe. What makes most sense to you? Uh, just whatever your guys' goals are. The, the, caribou, the sheep are up like these small drainages. Uh, with a caribou all cruising through these bigger drainages, so it's like whatever, whatever your goals is, they go after first. Do you, go, do you want to sit for the caribou first? And... Well, yeah, would us shooting a caribou scare away no. the doll show? Okay, yeah, I'd say the caribou is right here. And then once we have the caribou, that was kind of... Then we can, can <laughs> hunt the... Uh, if a grizzly comes through here, okay. we should hit that, if not, we'll just shoot him as a cruiser. And the grizzlies are weird. They go everywhere. So you can be hunting a doll sheep and there's a grizzly bear by a doll sheep. It's like they, hmm. they just kind of go where they want. see a bunch of caribou over there we might move to like that side knob but if they coming up to us there's no point to Nervous. The first true test of all the working out we've been doing up until now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Should be good. You sign up for as much much adventure as you want. If you're looking for a vacation, this it, this might not be the place. Although I could argue, I come up here a lot to relax, and your you know necessity means you're unplugged from everything. Nobody can reach you. Uh, I read books up here. You just you relax. You enjoy the nature around you, and. Uh, but I would say the reason you go to the time trouble expense to go to, to Alaska is, is the adventure of it, to push yourself, see what you're capable of, try new things, see beautiful country that not many people get to see. You'll get that opportunity if you're, you know, 50 miles out of Dallas or Houston or some other big city. Spot something. Yeah, we got some caribou. It looked like a group of seven or eight of them. Out there, that's got to be 
2,500 yards, but that's not too far. Uh, it looks like they are just grazing at the moment. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. It's a big old group of them. Have plenty of time to get a plan put together. But if he if he does take a right hand turn. Got a grizzly bear that's coming down. Uh, and he's about 800 yards away, roughly, right now. So we're just gonna move in the position where we'll, uh, where we can kill him, no matter what what move he does, as long as he doesn't circle back and double back the way he came. He's just chasing after a grizzly, no big deal. Yeah, yeah. I hear if you put salt on their tail, then they can run away. Oh really? <laughs> I, I thought if you grab onto it too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bounce up and down a couple of times. So if he does go up this way, we can shoot him. And if he doubles back that way, then we can still shoot him. So this is a good spot to wait him out and see what he does. Because he could keep going over that saddle in that case. We'll never catch up to him, but if he comes this way, we got him. Cool. Some guys are like all about the like huge on inches and then some are just like if they like it, like it. So we'll just let them get close and put the spot and scope on them and see what we think when they get closer. Hello, Wild. It's been a while. I know you're still out there. In fact, I can hear you calling. My heart races. I have a feeling you've been looking for me. In fact, I've been looking for you. Perhaps it's time I can find you and remind myself who I am. Your next epic experience is on out for the services. Get packed up and go see if we can get a little bit closer to those caribou. They seem to be hanging out content, so we can go give them a peek and see if we want to shoot one of them. We go get up here and then we can stop creek hopping and pop up on the other side and see those caribou do where we want them to be or not. A lot of these people think it's like, oh, how I kill a big animal is run, 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 run. It's like, get to the highest point you can see, and then you don't have to run anywhere because yeah. then you can see almost everything. Slightly tall, it's got a little bit of green in it. Watch this. Do it again. You want to try to get closer? I think we can.
back out. Um, good elevation. See what your dad's seen. I don't know if he's laying dead there or if he's laying up in the bushes. So. Yeah. He got hit a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I hit him right here. It was a good shot, really good shot. So. Those things are just tougher than fuck. Yeah. When I was trying to tell y'all right, the last place I saw him was a hundred yards further up. And he shot back down this way. He didn't shoot. I just didn't see him for a long time. So I was telling y'all to go right. And then I thought, better y'all get down by that creek and walk up that creek. And I no sooner told y'all to go in. I didn't know where the bear was. Huh. I told you to go in. And then I catch a glimpse of him right, right fucking us. in front of y'all. <laughs> so I can see him. And I can't, I'm thinking, you guys got to be able to see him, but you didn't see him. And, and you're walking up, walking up, and then you stop. And so I guess y'all got a glimpse of him? We've seen a little bit of brown that didn't look right. Like, oh, right there. You, you know, he was spinning, and I would catch a glimpse of him every once in a while. What Y'all shot probably six shots, something like that, five? Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, three out of mine. I think I shot four. I, you couldn't see, when he's standing up full it was hard to catch a glimpse of him. I only caught one glimpse of him once y'all walked down, and he was way down that way until I went, yeah, go straight. And then it's like, holy shit, he's right in front of me. He had to be 30 yards. That's I, I mean, honest. it looked like y'all were right on top of him. But and I'm mean, thinking, I got to get the iPhone recorded. Oh, it probably won't record, and I can't get, take my eyes off of it. No, you know. <laughs> the closer we got, the less cold my hands got. I <laughs> stopped worrying about it. Yeah, adrenaline starts going up. Yeah, stopped worrying about it pretty quick. I was like, yeah, this brush is pretty thick. He could be anywhere. <laughs> Grab a quick bite to eat, head back out, see if we get that sheet. <laughs> and then I run this gun, and a gunfighter's ink holster. Really like this thing. Plays straight underneath, uh, well, yeah, underneath my uh, Everly Stock Recon. Why I keep them separate is because when I, I mean, my vinyl harness probably is about eight pounds, maybe, around there. When that gets heavy and I'm walking on the animal, I still want to have my gun if a bear pops up. So I can shred my bino harness since I don't really need them anymore because we've got an animal down at the moment. And if I do need them, I can grab them and then look. But if a bear pops up, I need to have my secondary weapon on me at all times. So I like being able to split those two up so I don't have to carry the weight all the time. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want on my chest. So, thanks for watching. Hope you take your hands. Again, we're just going to walk them forward as deep as you can go. Caleb, what's on the menu? Well, we got some chili mac with some uh, 
some of sausage sticks cut up and toasted with a, a toasted tortilla shell. Premium quality eats. <laughs> it's great. Robert's my marketing director. <laughs> GMO free. <laughs> oh, fresh freeze dried. <laughs> yeah, fresh feed, freeze dried, exactly. Farm to table. Farm, yeah, farm to table. With a few steps in between, yeah. but farm to table. <laughs> that is far from farm to table. <laughs> Look at that, you got some tasteful, tasteful char markings on there. Mm -hmm. It's all about presentation. Do the cross hatch grill pattern. Make sure you. <laughs> Flop it. <laughs> <laughs> Try that, see what happens. Ooh, Gonna get a little bit of stretching in, get limp what up. Ready to get some boo on the ground. We see a more with the sunshine, they might stay up high, but they still might drop down. Never know. Never know if you're gonna win if you don't try. So, give it the, the college try. We've been seeing a good amount of caribou come down, hit the ridge, hit the river, and head north. So we're just gonna get uh, get ourselves in position along the river. If uh, another group of bulls does the same thing, we'll be able to. Well, Robert and Mr. Hank will be able to set up and poke a hole in a couple big ones and uh, pack it back to camp. And life will be good. We'll have some caribou meat to eat. Got some garlic salt, so it'll be a uh, be a good time. So. We're gonna put it in the smoker. Oh, yeah. Yeah? And yeah. smoke it for eight, ten hours, pop some beers. Mm-hmm. Put up a picnic table. Plenty of beer. Yeah. It'll be a fun time. What, what kind of beer? I like Shiner Bach. Austin. Mm. <laughs> what about you, Al? What kind of beer are you going with? Shiner's a good beer. Shiner's a good beer. Is it I bet it pairs well with caribou. What? I bet it would. I bet, I bet it, it pairs well with caribou. So, uh, got a caribou off the end of the knob. It's not, it's not very big, so uh, yeah, just we're gonna pass on them and taking a quick break. The little body temperature calmed down, and everyone's legs rest up, and then we're gonna keep going. <laughs> They're playing chestnut checkers with us. <laughs> Go to the knob, the point of the knob would come forward like a hundred yards. He's in that area in the creek bed. Good sign, good start. It is. <laughs> that one that's shed, it's got some nice horns. The one that has no more velvet on it. In the front? In the back. Oh, in the back. Yeah, we're going after some pretty nice, a nice caribou. First one we've seen within shooting range in a little while. Stoked. I'm just <laughs> so close. We're so close. Time. The time be, has come. Huh? The time has come. As Caleb says, booze are gonna die. Booze are gonna die. <laughs>
Good Ooh. shot, dude. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nailed his ass. <laughs> Nailed his ass. <laughs> give, me, give me another one. That was awesome, man. <laughs> That fucker hadn't even had a tail flicker. No, he's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nice job. Thank you. Oh. We got him. We got Good him. Shot. That was awesome. His buddies are like, what the Yeah, fuck? what the hell is that? Who damn? <laughs> that was a good shot, man. Thanks, sir. Just freaking rolled it. Hank, you want to shoot the one in velvet? <laughs> hey, you said you want to shoot the one without velvet? They're still sitting there. <laughs> Still dialed. That was awesome, man. That's a good shot. <laughs> oh, here comes another one in. Where? Look at that. Where? This one. There's a new one coming in from left to right. He's in the riverbed. You nice? You talking about the one that was there from the beginning, or the? Oh, nice. He's dead. Okay. Yeah. He's still at four something. I mean, boys and girls, we are sheep here. Double shovels. Uh huh. One, one and a half at least. That's double shovels. Uh, it's super pretty. hide in the rack so. I get to see dad carry his rack out so <laughs> know, what do we name this guy uh, that, was, that one was honey boo boo and my, uh, what was <laughs> mine mine was uh, <laughs> oh Bobby Boucher <laughs> Everything in the same pot. This is why you always bring butter to camp. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. It almost tastes like brisket. Brisket of the like Alaska gamey, Wilds. Gamey lean brisket. That's good. Uh, 
little crazy. What? Uh, oh, here we here we get some rocks to build a meat basket, so the air can get under the meat and create a crust so it dries out. I'm a caveman. <laughs> so we just got done doing all those caribou and some and we tired and we don't really want to do anything but sometimes in life the job's not done you got to walk through you tired get it done can't can't expect other people to make stuff happen for you whatever your job is whatever you got to get done personal professional doesn't matter don't make excuses and just make it happen He said he doesn't have hearing protection. We got some caribou coming straight over the hill. They come and looks like straight down to us. So we're gonna hit this little ridge line and get set up where we're gonna have like a two, three hundred yard shot. So he's the farthest one back and up. Get one standing in the middle. Wanna move? Good shot, good impact. Load another one. Look at him. Yeah. I think he might be down. You got him? Yeah, I got him. He's wobbling. So he's off by himself. Find the group and then go to the right. Yeah, I got him. Okay, hang on. Now they're all in front of him? Yeah. He's, he's, he's gone. Gone hard. Okay, he's wobbling. Robert, you want to get on the gun? You're up. <laughs> Can you put your finger in it? Yep. One mm -hmm. with his nose up his butt. If he stops and on the right one, he's got the biggest rack that's out there. Gotcha. Put a hole in him. Right there. Stop. Got a shot. No report. He's running back. Slow and easy. You got him. He's he's down. Oh, good he doesn't job. know what's happening. He's, go, he's going he, down. Good shot. That was he's dead. He's gushing out right behind the shoulder. Give me a <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pitch perfect. He's down. Let me find. 
Alright. Hank, yours is still wibbly wobbling a little bit. He has he's he's dead, but he's just not dead yet. If you want to go ahead and put another one in him. Good shot, he's dead. <laughs> you broke his neck. <laughs> Sorry for all the no, you excitement. Can. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One across the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Who says you need hiking boots to get the job done? No. Yeah. Look at that old crack. <laughs> That's all you need. You don't worry about those getting wet. Some oversized Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> those got the four-wheel drive in them, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> they had four-wheel. Four-wheel. Sport mode. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Robert. <laughs> Let's go down, down, down. Time for your breakfast coffee and your breakfast caribou. <laughs> Good shooting. Well, they're twice as close as the one yesterday. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. And we only got to cross one river to get to them. To get back, back across oh. the way, so. That ain't bad. Woo woo! Good shot, Robert. You freaking. I was, I was like, what? Where did you hit him at? And then all of a sudden, I see. Oh my! Really? That's a good shot. <laughs> it was perfect. I'll take it. The, uh, he still miss Jamie's and his Crocs. <laughs> well, yeah, the uh, first blood. <laughs> he didn't have his shirt on. He had oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little white. <laughs> it's a little white. You feel some conscious about my chest. It's, it's not that hairy. Looks, yeah, looks like another bear. <laughs> don't shoot! Don't shoot! <laughs> friendly, friendly. <laughs> The, uh, I don't think I need that Lathrop ad anymore. I think I'll just go sponsor for Crocs. Moochie! Enjoy the time! Look there, baby. <laughs> Looky there. Bucci. <laughs> Twice. Look at those Kikos. That's nice. Yeah, those are sweet. Beautiful. Yeah. Good shooting. Thank you, sir. Perfect yeah. shot. Perfect shot. Oh yeah, that's the here. Sweet. Nice. The only thing this this one doesn't have is the uh, double shovel. He's got he's got one. He's got he's a starter on the other one. He's beautiful. He's still he's very beautiful. Nice shot. Look at that shot. We both did. Oh. Hey, look how big he is. Point to that again. Beautiful yeah. color. Oh yeah. <laughs> You can't beat that one. Slay! 
things I can't speak on Been a lot of places you ain't been on We different, ain't we? Oh, you tell me you got the strength But can't intimidate me All that money you say you got But still ain't got it You're never going to confuse a trip to Alaska With a party you went to you know, when you go to go to so many parties, maybe in, during your normal life, you think you're going to remember that big, pretty Christmas party. It will never stand out like a trip to Alaska will. The caribou that we got, the grizzly that we got, were just you know the cherry on top. You know, it was, it's always been. It would, it, in my mind, it would have, it was always kind of a, a cool deal to be able to say, yeah, I've got a caribou. Uh, they're always they're cool looking animals and. Uh, even after coming out here, I really appreciate all the effort it takes into getting one. It's, it's you know, nonstop hiking, you're glassing for a while. There, A lot would pass through at once, you know, or, you know, over time they would pass through in, in groups and herds. Um, but that didn't mean, you know, they would just fall into your lap. Enjoy every minute, no matter what's going on. If you're, if you're in the middle of the hunt, you're enjoying the thrill of the hunt. If you're not in the thrill, thrill of the hunt, you're sitting on the side of a mountain, look at the beautiful surroundings or read a book enjoy the quiet and the peace and the but just focus on the silver lining in any situation from the bottom of my heart i hope you enjoyed the film this is a story of experiences that i've had and i've learned from and i wanted to share them with you if you want to go out and create your own experiences, I highly recommend you go into Outfitter.Services to go check out all of the options that we have there. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. And uh, keep getting after it. Keep going. We're only giving one life. Let's make the most of it. Thank you. Blue-eyed daughter The footsteps behind us keep washing away The shape of the shoreline seems addicted to change A blink of an eye, another decade flies by Isn't it a wonder that we're even alive? We're even beautiful miracle that the story goes on it's a beautiful miracle between the sea and the sun and the sun the raindrops are singing on a roof made of tin Melodies in tune with the sound of the wind No matter how long our song goes on Isn't it a wonder this little love came along